if you want to buy cheap NBA 2K20 MT, hop on over to NBA2King.com and use code HTB for 5% off your order. Hey, what's up guys? Henry the Blazing here and welcome back to another video. Now, as you guys can see in front of you today, finally the Rain Man is getting the respect he deserves, man. We've now got a Galaxy Opal Prime VIP Sean Kemp in NBA 2K20 My Team. Now, for those of you that did tune into the stream, you would have seen that we did manage to pull him and thank you for all the love that you guys showed the stream. But the reason I say finally, guys, is because at the beginning of the year, he was a pink diamond domination reward and for those of you that managed to get him well you already know that card ended up being absolute hot cheeks a pink diamond with only four hall of fame badges it was just so so bad and so wrong in so many ways they could have shown that sean kemp so much more love but i'm glad he's now got a galaxy opal that we'll really get to try out especially because i love using the rain man every year in 2k so i am looking forward to this now as you guys know we are on the road to 200k i appreciate everyone that's subbed so far but if you haven't just yet make sure to go ahead and do so we are 18k away i I know we can get there let's also aim for 2500 likes on today's video but uh without further ado ladies and gentlemen let's dive into the stats see what he's all about hop into a game and see if he really is worth the pickup so off the bat i'm seeing a 99 offensive overall 99 defense 610 which is a solid height 230 pounds and diving into the stats this is where things actually look insane a 94 driving layup he's got a 95 post fade the post game is all insane a 97 mid-range 91 three pointer 90 free throw and 96 driving 97 standing so offensively that looks pretty on point now obviously the animations are going to play a big part as to how good those stats really will be but he's got 86 ball handling as well decent passing defense on point you got the 95 block with 94 interior defense 97 rebounding down the line is nice and he's so fast man 95 speed and acceleration with a 93 speed with ball you definitely love to see it man 98 vertical 97 strength 92 lateral quickness and the mental game as i always say is on point when we dive into the badges he's got 43 hall of fame badges with 16 gold badges so very solid amount right there you got catch and shoot difficult shots brick wall super good for the pick and roll relentless finisher post spin technician i'm a solid fan of as well but he's also got the hall of fame range extender which every card just seems to have i'm not complaining i like the box i love the hall of fame clamps love the quick draw there as well intimidator moving truck like he just got all the essential badges you want love the hall of fame rebound chaser as well because not many power forwards have that badge hall of fame so that's definitely nice to see pro touch deep fades downhill quick first step it's all really looking good on paper but i really want to see how all of this translates online so without further ado boys and girls let's hop into a game and let's see what the rain man is all about Let's get into it. And our matchup today is looking like Trey Young, Clay Thompson, Vince Carter, but the current series two, Anthony Davis and Bol Bol. I don't know what is up with these terrible matchups recently, but let's get to work. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another HTV gameplay. Kemp, it's time to see what you can do today. Uh, let me try to get open off the bat. Pull in. Ooh. I don't know how I feel about that shot. I usually don't say that about a card off the bat, but Kemp. That hitch is not nice. Where's my boy Kemp? I want to try that jumper one more time. Actually, give me a pick and roll. Let me try going to the basket with this card. Oh, blown right by to the rim. The Rain Man getting the power layup to go. In that case, not too bad. But that jumper, I'm still not sure about. Good defense right there by James Harden. I want to give it to DeRozan so bad. But it's all about the Rain Man today. Hey, beautiful dunk. I must say, though, this guy is definitely knocking down his threes, but they always start off doing that. I think this one's a pick and roll. I don't think I had the chance to pick fade. Yeah, he's rolling. Get him in there. Let's see what this drop step animation's looking like, and it's looking good. I'll take it. I really don't understand how this guy has, like, an all-Galaxy Opal lineup, but then has that pink diamond Anthony Davis. Like, it just doesn't make sense as we get the dunk there in transition. Like, you sell one of these Opals, you can build a budget demigod squad. Let's call for a pick and fade, and let's see if that works out. Hit that screen. Thank you. I just want him to get an open three, which they're not letting him have. But, hey, Rain Man's all about the dunks as we draw the foul, and we got some free throws. I don't mind going to the rim if I have to, because he's definitely got better animations going to the rim than the jumper itself itself but uh first free throw there is going down it says he averages five points per game even though that was from triple threat but okay swing pump fake swing swing DeRozan at the buzzer oh my goodness we got bailed out so bad right there let's call an iso and then let me get a nice little high pick and fade here come on 
Let's get a three. Uh, stop. There we go. Catch and shoot. Green beam. Still not the best jumper in my opinion, but I think I figured it out. Uh, let's go behind the back here. Where's my boy Camp? There we go. Blown right by AD to the rim. Hey, oh, that was violent. That's what I'm here for, man. I should have used Gary Payton on my team. We're in the second quarter here now, guys. Let's continue to make things happen. Come on, DeRozan. You can't be sagging off Clay Thompson of all people. That just doesn't make any sense. But uh, let's go right into a pick and fade and try to get my boy open for another shot. Come on. We got to pick it up. Uh, let's go right to Hakeem. Get Kemp cutting. Nice pass inside. Easy dunk. Kawhi Leonard, you're not holding me, man. Pump fake. Get Kemp cutting again. Easy dunk. Oh, no, 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 no. And one. Okay. I didn't mean to do that. I'm not going to lie. I messed that up a little bit, but I'll take my bucket, man. Let's go ahead and convert this free throw right here. He's gotten 20 points, but zero rebounds. I got to see some boards here, man. All right, let me get Kemp another three. Again, I got to figure that three out. I got to be honest. It's still not the best thing I've seen, but swing, catch, and shoot. You guys can see that bit of a hitch at the bottom there. If you can get used to it, his jumper is honestly not the worst. But otherwise, it's going to throw you off for a bit. Get the rebound there. Look at Hakeem just getting every single rebound that is there. Let's go right to Kemp. All the way, putting it down on Peja. Lock up. Oh, that's not good defense. Get there. Oh, I blocked that. Yo, Hakeem on defense. You love to see it. For a card I grinded so hard for, I don't use no. it that much. Oh, no way. Freaking Ping Diamond Kobe stealing the ball from him like that. That's not making any sense. Get out of here. We should have grabbed that, though. Let's get in the post here. Get in the post here. He's sending double teams. Swing it inside. That's an easy assist. Thank you. This is why I'm just going to stop underestimating teams. Because when I do, stuff like this happens where they just begin to catch up. So let me start playing a little bit seriously here. And Sean Kemp, you're taking a break, buddy. Good defense right there. Get the rebound. Nice rebound there, Glenn. Push the pace. I'm seeing Kemp. Kemp, get this little man off you all the way. That's an easy layup. Good defense right there by Wilt. The still take it all the way. Kemp in transition. A. He does have Hall of Fame range extender, so let me see if it actually works. I'll stop. Oh, they gave me the space there with Glenn Rice. If you want me to shoot with Glenn, I'll take it any day. Get that rebound, Kemp. First rebound of the night, and it had to be a manual one. Nice little crossover all the way, and putting it down. Not a big fan of that slow reverse dunk. Everything else is nice, though. Nice rebound there by the squad. Let's keep it going. I do like how much Sean Kemp does run in transition. I will give him that. Let's see what that fadeaway animation actually looks like. Not the worst. Green bean. The fadeaways are all usually pretty good animations. It just comes down to how often it actually goes down. Let me get a screen here. If he goes around the screen, I'm shooting it. If not, then I'm going straight to the rim. Easy access right there. Easy bucket. Bait that. I see that. Thank you. Kemp, be a bully. Let's get back in the post. I want to see that fade away one more time. Will it work? Man, he creates so much distance with it, though. I will say that. All right, let's see if we can get some more production from the three-point line here with Sean Kemp. Get around that screen. Go get open ASAP. There you go. Catch and shoot. Green bean. Yeah, when you get to used to the jumper, it's honestly not the worst. I think I'm critiquing it more than I should, but it's just tough to get it started with it get in the post uh right to kemp let me get a screen if he goes around the screen i'm shooting there we go way too open not a green but it's a bucket i'll take it i'll take it he's open catch oh trey young's there now all the way to the rim jeez oh! how did bobo just walk that off oh my gosh those are the kind of dunk animations you want to see though uh let's try to run a quicker pick and roll here please hit that screen there we go all the way he's rolling oop him hey he's meant to catch alley-oops it's not a sean camp gameplay unless he catches a couple let's run that pick and roll again he's probably not gonna expect it he'll he thinks i'm going for a fade nah he's rolling catch it hey oh you can't be blowing those man come on camp good defense right there by hakeem let's get one more bucket here to close this quarter out snatch back way too open not a green ay 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 it is not a good bucket let's try that one more time bro i don't like that hitch i okay i gotta say it i do not like that hitch i think i was being too nice actually i'm not a big fan of it nice rebound there by hakeem let's keep it going right to kemp kemp derozan dimer me mama bang Kemp is wide open. Oh, that almost worked out. DeRozan, not a green, but it's not a bucket. Let's go to Kemp from deep. Try it out. Green bean, it actually goes down. There's the rare time it feels easy. Other times that hitch is disgusting. I found out what the problem is, guys. When I try to create a shot for him, there's a disgusting hitch to it. Like, watch this. Uh, stop and pop. Do you see how it's so slow for him to, like, gather the shot to shoot it? He's good on a catch and shoot, but otherwise, I'm not the biggest fan. Like, look, catch and shoot, it's easy. But creating his own shot, it's not it. 
relax with a full court press, man. It's just not worth it. Pick and roll, though. Rain Man, come to the basket, because I got you. His, his alley-oop animations are nice, though. Where's my boy Kemp? Anyone on him? Nobody. I'm pulling it. Not a green, not a bucket. I give up on this jumper. I did my best. It's just not for me. Nice steal right there, though. Let's go back to Kemp. Let me try to get open. Stop and pop green bean in that case. But, man, is it inconsistent for me. Get in the post. Get in the post. Get open and swing that thing. Hello, mellow green bean. I'm probably shooting one of the worst three-point percentages I ever have in a gameplay, but to be honest, I really just want to figure this jumper out. I just can't get it. Give me that. Thank you. All right, Kemp, go crazy. Come on. We're not done out here. Get in the post. We got that fadeaway that creates mad distance, and that's a bucket. All right, guys, so we ended up winning this game 84-58. to 58, A pretty dominant performance there by Sean Kemp and the crew. Let's go ahead. Let's check out the box score, and let's see how our boy did. All right, so as you guys can see, Sean Kemp in 20 minutes, 66 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 steals. But boy, did he not shoot efficiently. 27 for 47 from the field for a big is terrible. Same thing with 9 for 20 from 3, especially because most of those were all open threes. That's just really tough to see. I was really trying to figure that jumper out, but to be honest, guys, Guys, I really don't think it's gonna be it for that reason I do think Galaxy Opal Bosch is going to be the better card like Kemp super athletic great down the court has insane dunks great alley-oops great defense and honestly the rebounding wasn't bad it's more the fact that this boy Hakeem right here decided to go for 20 rebounds he was catching literally everything so it's not like I was getting out rebounded my center just wanted to grab everything instead of Sean Kemp which it is what it is I'll take it but uh yeah Kemp I'm not too sure about it man like maybe I need to use them for a couple games, but that jumper is going to be hard to figure out. Like if you can figure that jumper out and green it consistently, sure, he might be worth it for you. But Bosch with the ease and speed of his jumper for that reason is going to be the better option in my opinion. Chris Bosch also is an inch taller than Sean Kemp and they also gave Bosch a ton of insane dunk animations. Now Kemp is definitely faster with the ball in transition. So that is a nice advantage, but I think all around Chris Bosch is still going to be the better card to use as the power four position don't get me wrong and this is coming from a guy who loves Kemp cards this was just kind of painful to see like I'm still gonna keep them I'm still gonna try to get good with this card but boy is that jumper tough I'm gonna have to sit and freestyle for a while he's most likely gonna go down and he might be a buy now for all I know but I love Sean Kemp cards so I will force myself to learn that release but in an honest opinion he's just not gonna be worth it for that reason like he's got great dunks but so do a lot of cards right now he's got range extender but so do a lot of cards right now he's got clamps and what so do a lot of cards do right now so uh for that reason sean camp you're cool you were definitely overdue we should have gotten this card before chris bosch to be honest so that it made more sense but it is what it is i don't understand 2k cycle of releasing cards but uh yeah unfortunately sean camp is likely not going to be worth this price you might even find some pink diamonds and diamond cards that actually might play better for you than this galaxy opal sean camp and that is definitely sad to say but that unfortunately is the facts i can't lie to you guys i'm not gonna tell you guys oh my goodness pick this card up he's so epic he only shot nine for 20 because you know you have your bad nights occasionally no that jumper is weird but if you want to go ahead and adjust to it then he can be someone lethal on your team i would just prefer to have someone easier to shoot with on my team for serious scenarios especially someone with a fast jumper again like chris bosh the only advantage to kemp's jumper is that he's not going to step in for a two with his animation because that's the one problem with bosh's jumper but uh yeah guys with that being being said this is going to be the end of the video if you guys did enjoy the video don't forget to leave a like and for you new viewers you know you got to hit that subscribe button and join the blazing nation i want to thank you guys for watching i hope you all have an awesome day and take care